what's up? Come on, Mr. Come on, Mrs. Babbage. <laughs> What's up, replay viewers? Let's see who tunes on in. Darlene W., first one in the room, and Charles, welcome. Good to see you. Walt Uri, welcome. And Mark Freeman, welcome. Good to see you. Michelle King and Adriana, welcome. Good to see you. Sean Bagels and Walks, welcome. And Ramona A. out there in North Carolina, welcome. Good to see you. Sally Skipico, welcome. And Sarah C., welcome. Good to see you. Danette out there in Queens. And Lee, good afternoon. Robojax is checking on in. Robojax and Dan Lee are checking on in from London. Good to see you, Robojax and Dan Lee. Good to see you, Stephanie Gray. And good to see you, Michelle King. And Julie B., welcome. Uh, good to see everybody, people. Good to see you, Jennifer Hayat. Welcome. And Waitress, the number nine like. Thank you so much, Waitress. Much appreciated. Good to see you, Sebastian Escovera. Welcome. Good afternoon, everyone. Good vibes here. We're in New York, baby. It's not raining. Good to see you, Ken Junge. Welcome. And uh, let's see here. Good to see you, Ian and Tint K. Welcome. And good to see every. Let's have a great stream. We are going to have a great stream, damn nabbit. <laughs> good to see you, Phyllis. Welcome. Good to see you, Jay Chulo. Welcome. Good to see everybody, people. Chris MG Vlogs. Everyone, check out Chris MG Vlogs' channel. She's out there in Grenada. Go see the islands. Check out Bagels and Walks, my favorite Central Park content creator, Bagels and Walks. Our friend Sean up on the Upper East Side. Good to see you there, Susan. Good to see you, Neville, out there in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Things are doing fantastic. It's not raining. It's not raining. Good to see you, Beach Bum. Welcome. That's right. You come here for the current events from the past. That's right. That's right, Sean. Absolutely, Sean. Absolutely. I appreciate that, Sean. Everyone hit that like button. Let's get to uh, let's get let's get to let's get to 75 likes. If we could get to 75 likes, I'll start moving my legs. We're gonna do 14,000 steps today. 14,000 steps today, and quite possibly, we'll be walking down one of the most beautiful streets in all of New York City. That is on today's menu. It's a it's a beautiful street because all the trees are blooming on it. It's very photogenic. John Lore, a photographer. John Law, we're going to head over to the West Village today and see probably one of the most photogenic blocks in the city with all of the trees blooming. It is springtime here in New York. It's weird weather. It wants to be cold. It wants to be hot. It's cloudy. There's no, well, the sun has been trying to break through all day. So will we see the sun? It, we, today's the last day we're going to get any kind of sun because it's going to be cloudy for the next three days starting tomorrow. Friday, 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 we'll get our sun back. And this weekend, also Saturday looks a little weird, but Sunday's looking good. Ah, your weather report brought to us by Schaefer Beer and the all-new Pop Top. Good to see everybody. Welcome. I hope all my time travelers are ready. I hope all my all you guys are ready here. We're going to keep it positive. I hate to do the pinned comment on the top, but I'm just going to put a lockdown on the chat today. So just, 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 just be ready. Oh, you're recovering from two days of walking. John, smoke them if you got them, all right? Smoke them if you got them. <laughs> Good to see you, John Capola, down there in Fort Myers. Hey, you're in Fort Myers, Florida. I, I, is it raining down there right now? I heard it's raining down there. It might be raining down there, people. Good to see everybody, people. Hope everyone's having a great Tuesday. I'm, I'm having a great... Do you like the pinned comment? Thank you. Okay, appreciate that. The power. The power of, 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 of pre-setting up your, your live stream. Yeah, no sun for three days, but it is spring, Neville. You got to have those May showers to bring those May flowers. April shower, right? I, I guess, right? Smoke them if you want to and if you got them. That's right. Pin comment, good, awesome. There you go. Pinned for the comments. Appreciate that. Absolutely. No breaking news, guys. All right. Yes, it's sad, it's sad but we're not going to talk about that. It's sad. You know, shout, you know, I'll give a shout out. I'll give a shout out to the uh, road workers. They were doing some highway maintenance on the bridge. Shout out to the highway maintenance workers who shut down northbound traffic on the bridge. They shut down traffic and saved innumerable lives. And unfortunately, there are six members of their Department of Transportation that are still currently missing. So our prayers go out to, to Baltimore. Absolutely. Sunshine after the rain. Good to see you. Mary Lilly and Jack Spencer. Welcome. 14,000 steps today. We're going to stay on the west side of Manhattan for the most part. So get ready, 51 likes. Let's get to 75 and you'll activate my legs. We are in, we're in City Hall Park, that's right. 
So where are City Hall, uh, so where, so we're here at City Hall to fire documents or what? No, we're not filing documents. We're just, this is where I had my lunch. I had a ham and cheese sandwich on a roll, had a small coffee because I'm, I don't know why the coffee's just not hitting me today because I fell asleep on the damn bus. There was a small minor traffic accident in the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel on my commute in. So of course, what did I do? I fell, I think the guy next to me too fell asleep. I think we both fell asleep and slept the sleep of ages for 18 and a half minutes. But I hope everyone's having a great Tuesday. I hope everyone's having a great Tuesday. James Vegas, greetings and salutations, sir. Ham and cheese, the comfort food indeed. I will be your personal sunshine. That's right, Nana. That's right. Mayor Adams, come out to play. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Taylor Ham, no, it's Taylor Ham. It's Taylor Ham. It's Taylor Ham, Adriana. We had, yes, I had this discussion with the Dutch. Taylor Ham could have done better, absolutely. <laughs> ooh, the stream is a, uh, ooh, the, the the connection is bouncing around all of a sudden. We had a really good connection. Now it's bouncing around. Who has a pocket Wi-Fi? Anyway, Strawberry Fields, good to see you. Let's have a good one indeed. Audrey B, good to see you. Gotta love bus snaps, but my neck hurts. My necks are hurt there, Paul. Yeah, as long as your shoes are still on. Good to see you, Paul, out there in Chicago. A Canadian bacon is Canadian bacon, and Taylor Ham is Taylor Ham for me. WWE in Brooklyn, right? Is it WrestleMania? WWE at the Barclays Center. Taylor Ham! I know, people, it's Taylor Ham. We always end up talking about freaking food. We always end up freaking talking about food. Good to see you, Jerry. Welcome. We have 58 likes. We have 115 people watching. Let's get to 75 likes. Let's get you at least 75 likes and you'll activate my legs. We're gonna do 14,000 steps today, west side of Manhattan, up to the West Village. I think we'll do also Highline, since we're gonna be in that area. We'll do Highline and, and, and probably conclude at Hudson Yards today. The nice bathroom. <laughs> the bathroom I would poop in, anyway. <laughs> Brivet from Kiev, Brivet. Hope you're staying safe out there, MS. If you're hungry now, get some snacks. Let me entertain you while you eat. <laughs> Strawberry Fields, get some snacks. Get some snacks. <laughs> now you know, people, which bathroom will Dutch Miles poop in later? Now, I'm not going to poop, by the way. I'm going to get home. Your step counter drops off during the week. It's all good. Hey, it's all good. It's a beautiful thing, John. Keep it up. Keep it. Guys, if you can still walk, keep on walking. Bathrooms worth pooping in by Dutch Miles. Brought to us by, <laughs> by babiesovernight.com. Your new bundle of joy in a box somewhere, not guaranteed. Babiesovernight.com bringing you bathrooms worth pooping in it's pork roll middle view says it's pork roll no it's taylor ham i'm from new york city i guess i'm with snooki on this one uh, we lost 70 pounds awesome mark it's gonna be a great walk today din din out there in trinidad welcome and uh, let's see we're, we're waiting for 75 likes here we're up to 65 right now we're waiting for 75 likes here at City Hall. By the way, this is City Hall, and this is the municipal building just behind it. So City Hall, the oldest continuously operating City Hall in the United States. The building was completed in 1811, opened up for business in 1812. To give you, a, to give you an idea of how small the city was back in 1812, the city extended just about five, six blocks north from here, and there was literally farms beyond that. So it was farms within a 10 minute walk of this building when it was completed. It's a rather fancy City Hall, uh, so fancy indeed that, uh, it, 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 we ran out of money while building it, so we finished the backside of the building officially in brownstone because we thought the city wouldn't grow too far north of Chambers. <laughs> Little did they know. And then just behind it, we have the municipal building. And the municipal building, uh, I think it was 1928 it was completed. It houses all the members of city council and some of the offices of Department of Transportation and Department of Sanitation have offices in there also. And then perched on top, my favorite statue, my, my, my favorite statue, one of my favorite statues in the city. That statue right there, her name is, she's, she's a beautiful uh, uh, copper statue clad in 24 karat, 24 karat leaf gold. And her name is Civic Fame. Civic Fame uh, holding up high a crown. And that crown has five points in it. One for each of our five buttos here in New York City. And there's also five columns, five towers here. So Manhattan, obviously Manhattan's in the middle, and then we have all the other, all the other boroughs, towers surrounding it. There you, it's a tradition, John. It's a tradition. Let's, let's not talk about Boss Tweed and John Y. McCain of Gravesend. Let's not talk about those people. Use the money to, for something else, you bet? Probably. It's a legacy, people. It's a legacy. 
<laughs> 72 likes. Come on, guys. Let's get to 75 likes. Once I get to 75 likes, I will, I will activate the legs. 14,000 steps today. So Chris MG Vlogs. Chris MG Vlogs, Neville. Chris MG Vlogs is in, is in Grenada. And she does these really cool vlogs out there where it's beautiful and warm and the ocean is gorgeous and I want to visit Grenada. But Chris MG Vlogs, we have been following each other for quite some time. And she has fun content. I like watching her content. And there you go, Brad. There you go. M. Zambrano, good to see you. Easy Rider, good to see you. We could discuss physics. For, yes, we can. Ian, absolutely. Seven, oh, we hit it. 75 likes, people. 75 likes. Good to hear me laugh. I appreciate that. I'm happy you guys are hearing me laugh. All right, let's make sure everything... Uh, there it goes. Everything, make sure everything works. Guys, let's enjoy New York City on a beautiful Tuesday. Ah, we got a lot to see today. Deploy, yes. Grew up on uh, d and Oh, absolutely. D&D &D ham and cheese. That sounds good, man. Dude, that sounds good. All right, City Hall. PD and Sheena say hello. Hello there, PD, PD and Sheena. Welcome. All right, let's get out of here. The trees are blooming. It's New York. Look, it's springtime in New York. Oh, my God. It's springtime. We got a lot of tour groups out. Holy crap. Tour guides are making money today. Hand over fist. Albert Fazzoli, buongiorno. Buongiorno, Italy. Yeah. That's right, creative moments. Good to see you. Ah, the Jacob Ray Mould Fountain right in front of us. Ooh, they're walking sideways. Ooh, they're walking, they're walking sideways, people. Anyway, let's, let's walk straight. They're walking sideways. I want to keep them out of the shot. Okay. I'm going to, John, we're going to scout out some amazing locations today. We're probably going to be on the most photogenic street in all of New York City. So, yeah. We got, we, we got some things to see today. No, so here's the forecast there, photos. Tomorrow's going to be a kind of a drizzly day. I don't think it's going to rain. I've been just looking at some, uh, some forecasting and some maps while having lunch. And I think it's going to be a drizzly day. And... <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be a drizzly day tomorrow. It's going to be kind of like one of those damp, dark days, but today was supposed to be like that. And I think today the, uh, the dry air is winning out. So it's a little bit warmer, a little bit more brighter than originally uh, planned. But tomorrow's going to be a drizzly day. And then uh, uh, Thursday is the rain day. Like Thursday, I'm probably going to have to cancel out of work because I'm not riding a bike in the rain. So... Buenvenue, Nibble. Buenvenue. Everybody, check out Nibble's channel. Great live streamer from the south of France. Yeah, it was there yesterday, Triangle. Yeah. You know, I wanted to cover that yesterday, John. And you know what's crazy? The Triangle Shirtwaist Factory is on the same day as the Happy Land fire up in the Bronx. I never realized that all these years, like the way the news, the news uh, covered everything yesterday. I was like, holy shit. It was beautiful. Thursday, you got traffic court. <laughs> you got traffic court, okay. Good luck with the traffic court. Okay, working on the building up here. Look at this. Working on the building. So Neville in, I believe it was 1986 or 87? 1986, 87, there was a social club up in the Bronx and there was a dispute or a fight between the coat check girl and her boyfriend. So what he did was he came back to the social club with a Molotov cocktail and he set a fire in the entrance and uh, a whole bunch of people died and uh, but it was another like really tragic fire here in uh, New York City but I never realized it was on the same day as another very tragic fire back in uh, 1911 and that was the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory fire so I never realized that they were both on the same day it's, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Two like really sad, sad things. 
Yeah, no, I drowned. It's tragic. Tragic. In front of us, the, the building that used to publish the Sun newspaper right here. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. That was published from that building right there. Happy birthday to everyone's birthday. If you're celebrating it, there you go. We're walking north on Broadway, but we're going to now depart from Broadway and head over to uh, church. Let's see if they're buffing the bean. Who wants to take bets that they're buffing the bean? Yeah, a fire in 1911 that changed history. Pretty much creating OSHA and many other rules. A lot of action happening here. Got some production trucks here. Looks like everyone's getting ready to pull out. The, the engines are running. Filming Law and Order, as they always are downtown. <laughs> so we got some production trucks scattered to boot. Well, let's head over to church. Let's head over to the church and uh, check out the bean. Yeah, yeah, everything changed. Everything changed, John. Yeah, and the law and order is always on the set, yeah. <laughs> law and order is always on the set, especially downtown. Look at this, the sun's really trying to come out. It's been like this all day. Of course, Neville, they film Law and Order in all the five boroughs and, and even outside the city. They've been known to film out in Long Island and New Jersey and... Really, saw Sam Waterston yesterday's photos. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, John, I'm kind of sad that Blue Bloods is... Fin but always remember, John, remember that Blue Bloods was originally supposed to last for just eight seasons. Originally, it was supposed to be like a really long movie. And uh, yeah, so I think we got a lot of extra time out of Blue Bloods. I remember reading somewhere, it was like Blue Bloods was, it was gonna be like a, like a, like a mini series. And that was gonna be, that's why if you ever see the pilot episode of uh, Blue Bloods, like all the actors are different. Like, or most of the actors are different in that in that pilot. So we're up to 14, Nibble. We're in four, season 14 of Blue Bloods. Yeah, Sam Waterston, man, he looks pretty good. Yeah, he's aged pretty good. You know what it is? It's it's never stopping working. He never stopped working. He's been acting for sheesh. You're in my lifetime combined, probably. How do you construct a bean in um, orange peel sections, as they call it? I'm going to show you how they build the bean. I'm going to describe how they fabricated it again. When we get there, get a little bonus. Can't stand those cop shows. Well, it, you know, <laughs> I hate to say this. I hate to say this, John Lore, but whenever I watch, <laughs> whenever I watch Blue Bloods, uh, you remember on, on The Simpsons, they had that little, like, they well, it was a show, but it wasn't really a show, but it was called Cop Drama. Tonight on Cop Drama. That's what I kind of think of Blue Bloods as. It's, I hate to say it's police propaganda, but hey, it's pretty and they show the neighborhood. Good to see you, Julio. Welcome. Good to see you, Coaster Kid. Good to see you, Coaster Kid. I hope you're having fun working at Luna Park. I hope you're having fun working at Luna Park. The secret NSA building is right there. That's the one that supposedly, uh, what's his name, that Snowden guy, he said that they record everything on the internet that happens on the internet in that building. So somewhere there's a server that is recording this live stream that will outlive humanity. <laughs> anyway, Sandra Ann, good to see you, Brian Davis. The gummies are kicking in, people. The gummies are kicking in. I was gifted gummies and I'm like, hey, all right. <laughs> so now we're good. We're good. We're good for the live stream now. Anyway. 
walking north along church, approaching, approaching Dwayne. Yeah, it's a creepy building. Rainier, aloha. That's the, uh, officially, the AT&T Long Lines building. The building is, uh, what is it, 38 stories, 47 stories, something like that? I forget. It could live two weeks after the bomb drops. Sharing is caring, that's right. Yeah, and Abul, they supposedly record everything on the internet in that building. You're on your second, <laughs> John was on his second gummy today. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, John. Coaster Circus, nice. Pretty busy, awesome. Well, um, I hope you have a great time working at Luna Park. And shout out to Team, Team Luna Park. They'll be back at it on, what is it, Saturday, right? I think it's a hybrid there, Meadowview. I think it's a hybrid. Good to see you, Esteban, welcome. Long lines meaning like this was the, this building here, I think it originally, it was meant to route, uh, communicate that, you know, long lines around the earth. They used to, I think they still are, they're physical. They are physical, physical wires in the ocean. And I heard that this is like a, a uh, you know, transfer point. Yeah, this is it. Long lines, people. Anyway. That's, uh... No, Ian, th th actually the history is quite public, Ian, so it's quite easy. The Urbanist Exploring Cities, our friend Ariel, he did a fantastic video. He's done a few videos on this building, so. Good to see you, Michael, out there in the United Kingdom. Cheers. Cheers and salutations. Welcome to, we're now on Worth Street, walking north along, along uh, church, if you're following along on a map. No, you can't ask for your data, obviously, no. That's a, that should be a given. The cheese grater building, by the way, is right down there. Cheese grater building. Keep on hitting that like button, guys. Let's keep, on up, let's keep above the two-thirds ratio. What are we at now? Yeah, let's keep above the two-thirds ratio. We're approaching 50%, so come on, guys. Can we get to, can we get to at least 175 likes? Let's get to 175 likes. So search Urbanist Exploring Cities. And he did a couple of videos on the Long Lines building. But now let me tell you, let me tell you how, how did they build this thing? How did they build the bean? They're not polishing the bean, they're not buffing the bean today it looks like. But how did they build it? Well, you get a large piece of stainless steel they usually come in flat sheets and they cut them to a certain dimension to then, ooh, we got a bent, we got a, we, somebody hit the bean really hard. They fold it and then they curved it. I think they had like a template where they folded the stainless steel on. And these, when, after they're folded, they're kind of in the shape of like an orange peel. So think of it like that, or, think of orange peel sections. And then that's how they fabricated it. In, in, and peels in, in sections. And then what they did was they fabricated, they basically made like a, like a matrix and they fabricated. So there is a, a supposedly a structure underneath this. Now, let me see, I just lost the bend in the bean. Somebody definitely hit this thing hard enough. Oh yeah, it's way up here. Somebody hit this thing hard enough. Can you guys see it? It's like distorted. Somebody hit it really hard with something. This is why they buffed the bean all the time. It's either that or the temperature because of the, because, oh yeah, there's another one over there. Because this thing expands and contracts, it probably creates its own little indents, indentations. But here is a, see here's a coupling of two, of two orange peel sections, if you will. Look at that, look how, look how fine that is. That is like so fine. Yeah, Chicago's has been closed for a month. What? Good to see you there, Johnny, out there in Denmark. Yeah, the, ben, the, the, the bean is basically breathing. That's a good way of putting it, Ian. But there you go. Yeah, the buffed bean. It has no name, Anish Kapoor. This is, has no name. It's, it's, called, it's literally called Untitled by Anish Kapoor. But let's get to, I'll show you the shot that you really want. It looks like it's being squashed by the building. 
So that's why, that's what makes it so cool. Yeah, you really got to look close. Good to see you, ICU. Welcome. Good to see you, ICU. Good to see you, Yulia. It's, oh, in Chicago, it's called the Cloud Gate? I thought it was officially called the Bean. Oh, I learned something new. Paul, thank you so much. Cloud Gate, why don't we get a cool name? That's right, Nebul, it's very true. <laughs> Good to see you, Oleg. Morning to the Bean. Good to see you there, uh, Train Watch. Welcome. Yeah, Cloud Gate, never heard of that. The title is Untitled, or there's actually no name. I know, exactly. It has no name, so we call it The Bean, I guess. Right? I, think, I think here we could officially call it The Bean because it has no name. But look at that. It's cool. Being squashed. Called The Blob. That's another good name. 56 Leonard Street and the Sky Villas of 56 Leonard Street. Yeah, it's like The Blob. Uh. Well, there you go. Okay, looking good. It's looking good, people. It's looking good. Yeah, it's, it's being squashed by the building. Uh, Anish Kapoor designed it. Uh, train watch. Anish Kapoor. Carlos, good afternoon. Welcome. If you're just joining us, hit that like button. Let me know you care. It'll help more people find the broadcast. Let's say above the two-thirds ratio. Good to see you, Mary McHugh. Welcome. We're back, Robinson Lopez. Good to see you. Ooh, another one's coming out. Maybe quick, maybe quick about this. This is not easy work. And Jack Spencer with a ten dollar super chat. Oh my goodness, Jack Spencer, you've been so kind the last few months. Thank you so much for that very generous ten dollar super chat. And thank you so much for sponsoring today's live stream. And by the way, thank you so much for buying my Metro card for the day. Thank you so much, here, Jack Spencer, for sponsoring today's live stream and buying my Metro card. Victor Rodriguez asks, why do you call yourself Dutch Moss? I think I, I, I have explained this probably thousands of times. So uh, uh, New York and New Amsterdam was founded by the Dutch, so Dutch. And then Maz, M-A-Z-Z, -Z, that was my nickname in high school. So they used to call me Maz. What's going on, Maz? So, like the Dutch Masters, it's like that. Instead of Dutch Masters, it's Dutch Maz. And there you go. And it's my internet name. You don't need to know my real name. It's not relevant to the broadcast. And the Duchess is simply the Duchess. You don't need to know her real name. <laughs> but there you go. All right. There you go. That's right. Strawberry Fields nailed it. Thank you. Thank you, Strawberry. <laughs> Thank you, Strawberry. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, guys. You know what we're going to see next? I think it's only up for another day or two. Unless they're taking it down now. I think this may be the last time we see the Ghostbusters firehouse frozen. You like that, Walt? You need, I like, you need a simple internet name. You know, you need, all the best content creators have simple, simple names. And Ken Junge with a five, what's that, Norwegian, or sorry, holy shit, a 60 Norwegian Krona Super Chat. Ken. Thank you so much for the very generous 60 Norwegian Kronar. Thanks for joining today's 60 Kronar Club. Much, much, much appreciated with a big 60 Swedish Kronar Super Chats. Very appreciated. Thank you so much there, Ken. Thank you so much for being a channel member. Shout out to all the channel members. Good to see you, RJ, out there in Colorado. Welcome. Well, we're back. This will probably be the last time we see this because I think it's coming down. I think it's this weekend or maybe even tomorrow. This is going to be uh, dismantled. So last days of the frozen Ghostbusters firehouse. 
Last days of it. Hazim, good to see you. Welcome. Here it is, last days. And I guess it's out in theaters now. We got to go down to the. Uh, we got to go down to the sunshine here. We got to go. We got to go down to the. Uh, to the Nighthawk Cinema, the Alamo Draft House, or something like that. Go see that movie. Ooh, they're open. They're selling T-shirts. Go buy a uh, cool uh, hook and ladder eight T-shirts and stuff here. But this will probably be the last time we see this. Probably be the last time we see the frozen Ghostbusters firehouse. That's right, Brian. That's right. Wow, bloody hell! The, the bean cost eight million dollars. Wow. But we'll take it in and we'll keep it moving because we got 14,000 steps to do. But our last views of this. Now there's a QR code and you get augmented reality here so you kind of see this. Good to see you, Caramax. Welcome. But we're going to miss our, we're going to miss our frozen people and all that fun stuff. Ooh. Yay! And by the way, that's the screen used Ghostbusters 2 sign right there. Screen used. But let's keep it moving. We got a lot to see. We got a lot to see today. Thank you so much, guys. I am not the best tour guide in the city. I'll, I'll be the first to tell you guys that. I'm the best live streaming tour guide in New York City. That I would that that I will take. I am the only New York City live streamer to live stream from a helicopter with my legs dangling out the side of it. And the majority of that live stream is actually in the helicopter, flying around and not in the waiting room. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I know the model, the, the, that Lego, that Lego model of the firehouse is like, if I had the space for that in my house, I would have that. But I think, the first precinct right here. That's right. Walking north along Varick Street now. And this is the entrance, or the exit, I'm sorry, the exit to the Holland Tunnel. You have the fire, oh my God, you got the toy firehouse from the 90s? I always wanted that, my mom wouldn't let me buy it. I wanted the toy firehouse. My mom never let me buy it. <laughs> there you go, Brian. Appreciate that. Did I play Fortunate Son? No. No, I listened to the ATC. There it is. Thank you so much, Nibble. There is our live stream. There is our collaboration with Fly Nyon in our helicopter. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, John. Oh, thank you so much. Who, who put that in the chat there? Nibble. Nibble. Thank you so much for putting that in the chat. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Let's see. I guess what we could do is we'll do that. We'll we'll head up to. Uh, we'll do. A, should we do? I'm wondering if we should do Washington Square or not. Good to see you, William, out there in Brooklyn. I know, John. I know you can't do things. That's why I'm like. I appreciate that, Brian. Thank you so much. Am I going to walk across Canal Street? Yes, I am, Tim. I'm walking north on Varick, and I think we're going to stay going north on Varick for the next few blocks here. I think we're going to take this all the way up to like um, 7th Avenue South. We have to eventually make our way to the very weird West 12th Street. Doesn't last very long, that street, but that's where we're going to go. West 12th Street. This is the exit and entrance to the Holland Tunnel. It's amazing how much this neighborhood has changed over the years. It's pretty amazing. 
A lot of apartment buildings here. I forgot what they called. They renamed this area. Like a, they made it into like a neighborhood, like a hip, cool neighborhood because people live here now. And I'm trying to remember the name and I can't remember it. Like those are like, these are really expensive apartments right here. Overlook the exit to the Holland Tunnel from your very own living room. We are going north. We are going north. I see all these trees coming out. Yeah, it used to be a scuzzy area. At least when I was a kid. This is also where Church Street becomes Sixth Avenue, the Avenue of the Americas begins right here at Canal Street. You hate the new neighborhood names? Yeah, me too. I'm very I'm very adverse to some of them. I'm not, not a fan of some of them. This this area here has a funny name because if you go just north of this, then it's officially like the village. So But look oh a very bumpy. A very bumpy uh <laughs> Canal Street here. They're about to uh, resurface the street here, so there's no line markings. It's all rough. And look at look at the cars bouncing over there, getting onto the pavement. It's not fun to drive here. And it's time to walk the off-road. Now the problem with no line markings is that cars kind of end up kind of anywhere willy-nilly. So you really gotta keep your eyes out and stuff. Yeah, no ho, no mad. All ridiculous names for neighborhoods. What's the one they try to use in Harlem, but everyone like revolted against it? It was like so Soha or something like that. I pronounced Varick Street wrong to go to the tunnel. Uh what? I mean this is the tunnel exit right here. The the Holland Tunnel entrance is over there. I don't know what you're talking about, Victor. I think Victor is confused. I call it Varick Street. Am I mispronouncing it? I lived here my whole damn life. I think I, I think I know how to pr pronounce Varick Street or the Holland Tunnel. He was born in Soho. Well, that's south of Houston. I mean, yeah. But I mean, historically, I think that whole area in general was like the, just a village. I think. Could be wrong. I forget. Good to see you there, Activity 79. Welcome. Carmen Duke, good to see you. Happy Tuesday. Happy every day, people. Happy every day. <laughs> Activity 70, 79 celebrating four months and more membership to Touch Moz Plus. Thank you so much there, Activity 79, for being a channel member. Michelle from Oregon, welcome. Good to see a Coke KO in. Welcome. Just became a member. Did you just become a member? Awesome. So we're becoming a member. Much appreciated. All right. The entrance to the Holland Tunnel, the first vehicular tunnel that links Manhattan with New Jersey. And traffic is always, is always humming here. Look how close he is getting to the sidewalk here. Yeah. You got to make the left here. Coming off, uh, I think this is Broom. Broom Street here. Pretty amazing, all the all development right here. It's Houston Street, Victor. Victor, I honestly don't know what you're even talking about. You're, you're really not making any sense, Victor Rodriguez. You're honestly not making any sense. You said, i pronouncing it wrong with, I guess, the, what was it? The route to the tunnel? You drove MTA, but yeah, but you're making no sense, Victor. I have, what are you getting at with your comments? Good to see you, Ibrahim, welcome. You're, you're, you're not making sense to me right now. What you're saying, what you're saying in your comments, in your comment thread, the last three comments is honestly disjointed. I hope you understand the statement. Bonjour, Lawrence. Bienvenue. I'm doing great. Just trying to figure out people's co disjointed comments. The story of my life.
Oh, this is Broom. Now we're on Broom. Still going north on Varick Streets. Oh, you got a ticket. Yay. What's my plan? Bagel, coffee? I, heard, I just had a coffee, but I know after the live stream, I'm getting another coffee. Yeah, last night was the full warm moon last night. No need to be funny and smart. I'm the one who makes smart, funny comments. I'm here to entertain you. Awesome, John. Felt like you get it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Get a hop on your broom and fly away. Like Mary Poppins. Right? <laughs> Good to see you, Carmen Duke. I'm glad you enjoy. Got to be careful here because they like to turn. They like to turn fast, even though I have the light. Bat lady, good to see you, welcome. Coming up to the color factory. Me and the Duchess have done the color factories. It's fun. It's raining in France today, stay dry. Hugh, hello. More than welcome for taking you on the walk. Have I eaten on my favorite hot dog stand? Well, I, I go to Coney Island for my hot dogs. And no, I'm not eating a hot dog today. Is it cold? It's chilly. It gets warm, it gets cold. It gets both. There's the weather forecast. E-Bike Mike. Good to see you, E-Bike Mike. Welcome. Here's Color Factory. Right over now. And they're, re they're repaving this street too. They're repaving a lot of these streets around here this time of year. All these streets are pretty rough. Yeah, we have the sun. Actually, this is the most sun we've seen all day. And I wasn't expecting to see the sun today. I think the dry air is, is uh, winning out. Nathan's has the best hot dogs, yes. The Color Factory is pretty cool, but I, I don't think they will let me live stream inside of there. It is a uh, curated, paid experience. But it's pretty fun. Took the Duchess there. Actually, she took me there. She wanted to take pictures. So we went in there, took some Instagrams, came out great. That's the kind of stuff we like doing. As we continue on going north along Varick. I'm still trying to understand those comments and I still don't get it. I am legitimately confused. Is it very hot and humid in your part of the world, Carmen? Carmen, I said Carmen Duke's in Guyana. Turn on the air conditioning, Carmen. Out there in Guyana. Turn on the air conditioning. Quack. Uh, okay, but what about Varric? You said I was pronouncing Varric wrong. And then you said that it wasn't the, the route to the tunnel or something like that. I'm still trying to understand the, the confluence of those words. <laughs> Today's word brought to us by Schaefer Veer. Confluence. Anyway. John Smith, honk if you love New York City. How you doing, people? I'm doing great. Hope you're doing great. It's 49. It's warm. Wow. 49 degrees at this bus stop right now. 49 degrees. It's 246 in the afternoon. We are almost done with March. About to get into April. Everything is blooming here in the city. My favorite time of year. Today's word is frustration. Yes. Uh, good to see you, Nick. 
Cold and windy in Winnipeg. Yes, indeed. Not, I wouldn't say this is a deep blue sky, but hey. Hey. It's coming through. 82 degrees in Florida. I should do... Well, Wall Street, eventually I'm hoping for uh, some kind of voice company, some kind of advertising company to find me on these live streams. And then I could use my voice. And I'll be the voice of a product you know and love for many years. And I'll be a new association to that product to make you want to buy every day. Use this product. It's great. It tastes like candy. Anyway, can't wait for the summer weather. Me too. Supposed to get rain later. Yeah, we're, we're going to get rain on Thursday here in New York. Starting up very late Wednesday, going into Thursday. I have a feeling I'm not going to work on Thursday because of the rain. Tomorrow's going to be a I think I'll still be able to live stream tomorrow. It's going to be a very drizzly kind of day tomorrow. I appreciate that, Carmen. I want my voice to be relaxing to your ears because that is my job. <laughs> America runs on Duncan. How's that? How's that? <laughs> Enjoy the all-new mocha latte caramel with extra ice and sugar only at your local Dunkin' Donuts. Anyway, what are we coming up to? Houston Street. We're coming up to Houston Street. Right down the block is my favorite movie theater, the Film Forum. I do run on a Duncan. I do have the golden voice. That's right. That's right. Yes, the golden voice brought to us by Schaefer Beer, Tempo Cigarettes, and the all new babiesovernight.com. All been uploaded and renewed for your baby buying needs. Your new bundle of joy in a box overnight. Guaranteed. Babiesovernight.com. Weather is nice. I mean, this, the sun's coming out. I wasn't expecting to see the sun today. I was not expecting to see the sun today. So, good to see you, Picard. Welcome. Right? Do I wait? Do I wait? Oh, I don't wait. Ooh. Oh, he doesn't even, doesn't, even, doesn't even tell me to wait. If I was blind, I will go wandering out into the street. Anyway, it didn't tell me to wait. I wanted to make the joke with the thing, but no. Didn't work. No, unfortunately, Lucky Strike is not a sponsor of the channel. <laughs> but the second hour of Dutch Moss is brought to us by the Vitajex pill. The Vitajex. So what you doing to me, pill? <laughs> Kelly Clarkston Street. <laughs> right here. Oh, okay, Victor. There you go. Who heard, who heard me read that? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Look at this. Look at this shit. He's like, I have to go. I have to catch some more Niger kings and queens. Now you know what I sound like when I read. Okay. All right. Oh, somebody thinks the camera's on me. Somebody's making gang signs behind me. Thinking the camera's on me. It is not. The camera is not on me. If the camera was on me, you'll be looking at my chin. He was like doing gang symbols and shit. Rapping in Spanish. Sorry, kid. I don't walk around with the camera on me all day. Sorry, kids, he doesn't vlog. He's not a vlogger. I guess... All right, since we're... I know, morons. If, since we're here, we might as well... Okay, we'll do the... We'll do the friend's apartment, and then we'll wander up to, the, to West 12th Street. Good to see you there, Ethan. No, we're not going to see art necessarily. What we're going to see is a 
supposedly a very Instagrammable street. It's a very beautiful street with all the trees blooming. So we're seeing New York City. It's the best way I can put it because uh, we're literally going to go to a, a street where the, where the trees are really complementing everything and it looks very beautiful. So That's right, Flo. What did I have for lunch? I had a ham and cheese sandwich on a roll with lettuce and mayonnaise, a bottle of Starbucks mocha coffee, and now in my bag I have a vitamin water, a triple X vitamin water. Why are wackos attracted to the stream? Because it's a smart, introspective, and thoughtful live stream. They want to feel like they're out ahead of the game and be a part of something that actually means something, right? I think that's what it is. Bedford Street, where you gotta hang the the left here. It's triple X is very spicy, yes. Now I don't know exactly where along West 12th is this street. So we're just gonna end up just walking it and see uh where this very Instagrammable spot is. No doubt we will see some, there's some nice streets around here. Um, who, who knows, no doubt we'll see some influencers in the wild. Attention seekers, exactly, Stephanie, good to see you. Anyway. It's a, such a narrow, such a narrow street right here. This is no doubt, no doubt this sidewalk was taken out when they widened the roads back in the 50s. Ooh, this is a pretty, pretty street right here. Good to see you, Jethro, out there in South Africa. Yep, we're in the West. We're officially now wandering the West Village. Look at this. Right, let me see if I can get out in the street and really frame this up for you guys. Yeah, let's do it. Look at this. Isn't it pretty? Got some beautiful white blossoming trees here. That's right, Mullen. Are oh, we going to see some TikTokers? That's right. Can we get to 16 and a half subscribe? 16 and 16.5 K by Mother's Day. Ooh, look at this. Well, we got a beautiful tree down here blooming. Let's we'll go around the block here. Good to see I love the 80s. John Burke, good afternoon. I know th th these blocks around here, Julie, beautiful. You're talking about like 18, as early as the 1820s and 30s, going all the way to like 19 teens in this area here. And a lot of these older buildings are landmarks. But we got like Look at this tree down here. It's a beautiful tree. It's nice to see this kind of stuff because it only lasts for so long. It's another, uh, the magnolia trees seem to be the ones that are getting ready to pop. Yeah, it's the magnolia trees. How pretty. Yeah, almost like the heights. Yeah, MC Dirty Jersey, good to see it. It is really beautiful uh, architecture around here. All right, this is bleaker. I'm gonna hang, uh, let's hang a couple of uh, left-hand turns here on bleaker. Good to see you, Jazz Dog. Alice Wonderland in Minnesota. Oh, Minnesota there in the house. Heard you got some snow up there in Minnesota there. Yeah, these are called townhouses. They wouldn't, they, these would not be called brownstones. These are townhouses. Let's just come around the block here. I love those magnolias, yeah. 
Still snowing day three. Oh my goodness. Alice, stay warm out there in Minnesota. It's fine. The kids can go to school there. It ain't no five feet of snow there. It's fine. It's fine. Let the kids walk to school there. A little bit of ice and snow don't slow down anybody there, eh? <laughs> yeah, the Bleecker Street Pizza. Ooh, look at this. We found another, like, really, really pretty block. Yeah, this is, like, right down the block from the friend's apartment. This is right down the block from the friend's apartment. And, uh, straight out of a movie. This little block here. But look at the trees. Ooh, see, this is why, you know, if you ever wonder why, like, how can, how can New Yorkers, like, live through, like, these crazy winters we live through? It's because at times like this, when we could walk down the street and the trees are blooming, I mean, this is what makes it so nice to live out here. We get these magical moments here. As we walk down, I guess this is the block where the friends lived because uh, on the corner, it's gonna be the friends apartment building. Good to see you, Arjun. <laughs> yeah, exactly, you gotta watch out for plaques. A lot of historical buildings just hiding in plain sight around here. Here's the friends apartment building. Da -da -dee. Ba -ba. Da -da -da. Let's see, everyone's here. Everyone's here to look at the friend's apartment building. They're like, oh my God, they were here. We're here, people, we're here. It's really here. There it is. There's your friend's apartment building right there. We're really here. People taking pictures in front of it. All you need now is a sighting of Taylor Swift and everybody will be happy. Taylor Swift. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> The one time I see Taylor Swift on a tour, nobody knows who she is. That was like magic for me. I was like, you really don't know who Taylor Swift is? Anyway, I guess we're gonna wander up uh, Hudson Street now. I know, Taylor who? Swift, Taylor Swift, Taylor Ham. <laughs> yes, you get also Taylor Ham in the store. I know Taylor's in Los Angeles right now. I know. I think I do. I don't know. Is that that Google? Okay, Google. <laughs> okay, Google. That's true, yeah. I'm, I'm a secret Swifty. I'm a, Emmy, I'm a, I'm a Swifty on the DL, Emmy. Nah, I don't She has that one song about Coney Island. I was so disappointed. <laughs> I'm like, I live, I live in Coney Island. She should, she should have wrote a better song. Ooh, guy yelling on a bike. That's a good day. That's a good day. Your second color. <laughs> okay, awesome. All right, West 10th. We're already coming up to West 12th. We're going to try to find this very Instagrammable block. I can't shake her off. Nay. I can't shake her off. No. Good afternoon, Joe. Welcome. Lots of Joes and Johns in the room. Welcome. Shout out to all the Joes and Johns out there. A lot of these, you know, I just realized a lot of these blocks here in the West Village have blossoming trees. Yeah, Coney Island deserves a better song. I mean, we got Coney Island Baby. And then, of course, that one by, uh, what's his name? Uh, anyway, I'm blanking on names now. 
because I'm, I'm looking for West 12th Street. And Neil Young, I got Neil Young. Uh, what's, what's his name? I can't even remember his name anyway. Martha and the Vandellas, yeah. That's right, G-O. Ah, there you go, Bat Lady. What is this? What are they giving out here? All right, Charles Street. Looking for West 12th here. I think another couple of blocks and we will, we will encounter it. But I just realized a lot of these streets around here have blossoming trees. Wow. You know when you don't look at something and now you look at it? Anyway. Drugs, that's right, drugs. Yeah. People, drugs. Yeah. Drugs. Yeah. 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 It's a Tuesday afternoon. Beautiful sun to the cloud. Drugs. Yes. Drugs. <laughs> like candy. Drugs. Sweet like candy. Sweet like a cinnamon. Drugs. Drugs. Anyway. <laughs> that's right, Ian. That's very true, Ian. Very true. All right. This is Perry. We're coming up to the White Horse Tavern where lots of drugs were consumed, especially in the 60s. I told the man no candy flipping in my house. I told the man no more candy flipping. The 90s are over. <laughs> no more. Sorry, headphone viewers. I'm really going off on tangents now. Only an hour and four minutes into the live stream and I have completely lost my mind. Here's the White Horse Tavern where lots of famous stuff has happened. Jane Jacobs Way. Jane Jacobs lived like right around here. I always forget where exactly her building was. Ooh, I think we have pretty trees down there. We do. Bloody hell, I gotta like zigzag around here. I think we're gonna zigzag. I think we're gonna zigzag around here because we got a lot of trees uh, blooming. No super you, no. No super you, no. Ooh, over there too, there's like a whole canopy up there. Holy crap, I don't know where to go because there's a lot of like nice trees. You know what, there's a whole, there's a whole canopy over there. Let's look at this canopy. Yeah, and the ham and cheese made me nuts. Is that a Dracula impression? It could be in your mind. If it is, it is. <laughs> there you go, Ian. By the way, for the young kids, if you don't know what candy flipping is, <laughs> candy flipping is when you take ecstasy and acid at the same time. It's what we did in the 90s. Kept us young kept our minds fresh and sharp. Ooh. Ooh, he was, I think he was blasting beetles. Wow, he's a cool guy. Yeah, we got a lot of trees blooming around here, guys. I can't wait till you see the street coming up. It's really pretty. I think this might be, no, it's not, this is not the street on Instagram. It's a good street, though. I know, eat, Brian, you're learning things, Brian. Is it a free bed or a, be a free bed with bed books? <laughs> yeah, I got this. I found this nice. I found this nice mattress, but it made me itchy. Incense and peppermints. That's a damn good song. Damn good music. It only took an hour, and I have completely lost my mind. Is this a revolutionary era street? Uh, no, I would say that this area was developed just after the Revolutionary War. I mean, a lot of the streets existed during the Revolutionary Era.
Yeah, look at this. Wow, look at these trees over here. Wow, it's a really pretty block. This is the kind of block that, like, on a nice, quiet Sunday morning, like, the birds are just chirping like crazy. You can hear it now in the middle of the damn day. And this is a historic, uh, historic neighborhood here. The Greenwich Village Historic District. Oh, we're officially in the Greenwich Village Historic District. And we got not one, not two, but three brownstones for sale. If anybody wants to super chat me one of these brownstones, I'll be much appreciated. I'll be much appreciated. <laughs> okay. If anyone could... I'll take, I'll take this one that you got to paint, all right? I'll take this. I'll gladly take this one. <laughs> Look at these trees down here, guys. Look at these trees. Yo. I think... Now, is this the street that was on Instagram? This is definitely close. Miss Portland says, go to Sullivan's Bar. I'm not going to go to a bar right now, Miss Portland. Sorry. We're looking for cool blossoming trees. Wow. This is, uh, actually this might be the street. Look at this. This might be the street. I think this is the street. Wow. And Jazz Dog with a two pound super chat. Jazz Dog. Thank you so much for the very generous two pound super chat. Thank you so much for joining today's two pound club. Much, much, much appreciated with the big two pound super chat. Thank you so much, Jazz Dog, for sponsoring the video. So now we're on Waverly Place. And this is the street, Waverly Place and West 11th. All right, so the poster got it wrong. The person who posts the street got it wrong. It's not West 12th Street, it's West 11th Street. Look at this street here. This is gorgeous and it's right off, it's literally right off 7th Avenue South. So 7th Avenue South's right there, but this is the street right here. So it's Waverly Place, Waverly Place. Look at how, oh, I would gladly live, I will gladly live in a basement apartment around here. Oh, okay. <laughs> look at this. Dazapan, it's good to see you. Oh, wow, this is so cool. This is an Instagram shot. You get somebody, picture the, the, the duchess in a fucking hot ass dress right here with the trees. Oh God. Oh, wow. How pretty, right? Oh. It's such a pretty street. Beautiful blossoms. It's funny, like, you, know, you, don't, you, you don't always have to go to the Botanical Garden to get stuff like this. So I guess this is West 12th over here. Yeah, this is West 12th over here. So West 12th and Waverly. This is a street that I'm gonna have to uh, hit up on the regular now because this is, look at this street. Wow, it's so pretty. Wow. I had no idea the street was like this. This is, and it's only gonna get better for the next few more days, it's only gonna get better. So this is, right, so this is West 12th, right? Let's just make sure. Oh, and there's some cherries down, there's some cherry blossoms down there. Oh, another, another brownstone for sale. This is a nice quiet block. Bloody hell, this is a nice block. Okay, let's see these cherries and we'll come back. We'll come back here for the people who are just joining us. We'll come, we'll walk down that street over there, but let's, let's check out these cherries. Good to see you, Derek. Out there in Glasgow, welcome. Isn't that sexy, isn't that wine wall sexy? <laughs> All right, so the person on Instagram got it a little bit wrong. So it's Waverly Place between West 11th and Bank Street. So, but that whole little block right there has trees. And even this park here has trees. And we're right off Greenwich. This is Greenwich Street right here. And this will take you down to uh, 8th and 6th Avenue, going down that way. And then going up in this direction here, we're just a few blocks away from 8th Avenue. So we're right here around everything. This is the, the AIDS Memorial. 
right here because of course we are in the middle of the uh, of the village West Village here this is the New York City AIDS Memorial right here and then we have these beautiful trees good to see you cronies yes yeah, definitely Instagramable look at these trees here these are magnolias oh this this one here is like blossoming look at this by the way, the old St. Vincent's Hospital used to be right there. Look at this. Wow. So pretty. It's springtime. It's springtime in New York. Gotta love it. This whole, this whole little park here has blossoming trees. It's so nice. So basically you could take pictures here in the park. There's a really cool uh, candy store that sells all British candy right up the block here. Thank you, Coney Island, Jim, for letting me know about this place. And what we're gonna do is let's, let's walk back down Bank and let's show you this street here again. not recommend riding a bike in New York City with headphones in your ears like that. Good to see you, Tonya. So again, if you want this very Instagrammable block, Bank, it's Waverly Place between Bank and West 11th Streets. Absolutely beautiful block. Let's walk around. Let's do a little loop around here one more time and then we'll We'll begin to head up to the, uh, head up to the, whatchamacallit, head up to the, we'll do the High Line. Fawn Marie. Two feet of snow in Duluth. Break out the shovels, Fawn. Stay dry. Stay warm and dry for me. Okay. One more time. Look at this block. Wow. Yo. Oh, this block is so nice. The only problem with this block is that a lot of people are like, clearly, when they drive around here, they're like lost. So they kind of jump down the street here. But, wow, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. So, in this is very Instagrammable. Wow, this is very Instagrammable right now. Such a pretty block. My goodness. Especially looking this, yeah, looking in this direction here. Looking at, look at this block here. And then this corner here too is, is really nice too. Yeah, it's quiet. Look how many trees here you got bl blossoming right here. This is West 11th. It's another like really cool, look at this shot here. With the taxi cab coming through. So pretty. This is a cool street, wow. This is now officially on my radar for like springtime. Cause you kind of like, you could, you could point the camera kind of just anywhere and it's gonna be pretty. Yes, Jethro, we're in, uh, we're in the West Village right now on West 11th Street and Waverly Place. This is, uh, you know, Manhattan, you know, depending on where you are, it's not just Midtown. Look how pretty this is. I had no idea. Wow. Well, there we are. West Village, Waverly Place, between Bank, Bank Street, and West 11th Street. This is where we're at. So if you want to take some awesome photos and all that good stuff, this is it. This is it. You hate going north of 23rd? I feel you, John. I feel you. 
you know, it's only a million, two million dollar homes around here. If anyone wants to do a quick search, because there is one for sale here, if anyone wants to find how much is this one right here? This is 20 Bank Street. How much is 20 Bank Street? The townhouse is for sale, but somebody look it up right now. How much is 20 Bank Street? We're walking uh, kind of west right now along Bank Street. Actually, John and Yoko, uh, John Lennon and Yoko Ono, they didn't, they didn't live too far from here. I always forget what block they're on. I think they're just off of, uh, I think they're just off of uh, Hudson Street. But when they first moved to New York in 1971, they lived on Bank Street. Look at this nice little gaslight here. Oh, only $15 million. Thank you guys. Vaughn Marie winner of the Latency Lottery and Ian coming in the close second place. Yeah, Disney had a show once, the Wizards, Wizards of Waverly Place. That's right. Ooh, look at this nice car. Yeah. Nice little car to go with your $15 million townhouse. $15 million. I told my brother to play the Powerball and Mega Million. The Mega Million. $1.2 billion. All right, sounds like they're a nice neighborhood for us. It sounds about right. <laughs> yes, indeed, Walter. And be on me, I'm back at shows. Let's head back over to uh, Hudson. Yeah, $4.5 million bathroom. <laughs> Good to see you, Rue Jones. Welcome. So this is such a cool street. So like West 4th is now here. Like all the streets kind of turn into each other around here. It's so cool. But yeah, the mega, everyone play the, play the mega millions or the mega billions right now. If I win the mega billions, I will buy that townhouse just so I can say I bought that townhouse. I saw it on a live stream and then the next day I bought it. Oh, it's only 15 million for one of the two residences. The whole building sells for 37. That makes sense. Thank you so much, Jim. See, Jim put it in perspective. The whole building is 37. The whole building is 37, only one residence, which is rather large, but. <laughs> uh, if I ever buy that house, the whole thing, I'll hire Coney Island Jim to decorate it with the, with the best Christmas lights. <laughs> that's, my, that's a bucket list item in my life. Get a house that I could decorate like crazy. Yeah, no one said New York City was cheap, no. Yes. Wow, 7,600 square feet. Wow. Yeah, I got it. I know you can't keep them straight. I know, Mary. Now, you remember that show, The Lottery Changed My Life? Like, there was... I always realized that in, in, the, in the TV show, Lottery Changed My Life, uh, it was always the Powerball that had the bad karma. Like, the Powerball seemed to destroy families all the time. The Mega Millions, not so much. But the Powerball seems to have some kind of weird voodoo to it. Awesome, Daniel. Good to see you. Happy you finished digging out of the snow. Stay warm. All right, we're heading back onto Hudson Street. And oh my God, I think, right? I think they were filming because they know that this is the apartment building from what I like about you. Oh my God, right here. Who remembers that show from Amanda, with Amanda Bynes? What I like about you. They supposedly, they supposedly lived in this apartment building right here. Oh my God. That was one of my, my secret favorite shows that I never told people about. I guess now I tell people about it. <laughs> that's why they were taking, that's why those two tourists were taking pictures. Like, oh my God, it's the what I like about you apartment building. I love that show. <laughs> right? It was big in the Netherlands, right? <laughs> anyway, 
Look at the colors on these trees here. And we got a plant blossoming. Oh my goodness, people, look at this. Ooh, we got the bee too in the middle of the city. It's a city bee, everybody. It's like about a worker bee. He's a Manhattan baby. That's true, Mary, that's true. Look at that, it's a worker bee. That's a, that's a Manhattan bee right there. Then we got the birds in the trees and this beautiful magnolia. And I know it's a big ass bee. It's a, it's a worker bee. It's a Manhattan worker bee. It's, that's why it's a big ass bee. Getting all that nectar. Getting all that nectar. Yeah, Audrey, the Duchess uh, found me that really cool intersection. So she said, for the live stream. And I'm like, yep, for the live stream. Now I'm going to have to get her all dressed up and take her there and take a picture. Again, West uh, uh, Waverly Place between West 11th and Bank Street is where that cool street with all the trees blossoming was. You might be far back in the chat, so make sure you're all cut up. Make sure you hit the live button. Healthy B and D is a cop and to be there. It's a cop and to be. It's a cop and to be. Why do beds suddenly appear anytime you are near? <laughs> Just like me, they long to be close to you. The Carpenters, everyone. Featuring the Carpenter Bees. Bloody hell, this is like a long light. I was able to sing that whole riff while he looked at me crazy from his car. He's like, why is he singing? Karen J. McLean out there in New, out there in New Jersey, out there in, in Canada. Good to see you, Karen. Welcome. You knew I was going to sing Carpenters, right? Yeah. I had to. We, we were talking about the Carpenter Bee here. Is the bee in the union? Probably. <laughs> Probably. The local team says chapter of the worker bees, carpenter bees. It's now in session. Anyway. I know I'm gonna get demonetized now. <laughs> so here's this British show. Oh, it's another British store. This is the other British store. There's one over on Greenwich. Then we have uh, Myers of Keswick. They have one of my favorite windows here. I just love this window. But they got, oh, they got the Cadbury here. Good to see you, Francisco. Look for the union. Ooh, got, a little, got, a little, got a little cat hanging out right there, too. Just hanging out. Hmm. The cat's just, the cat is indifferent to the humans. But look at this. It's like a little, little bit of Britain for you guys right here in the West Village. Do we have a really cool like neon sign over there? We do. Horatio Street. A lot of these streets around here have blossoming trees. They're like gorgeous. Well, give this, give this street here another couple of days and this street here is going to look cool too. With the cobblestones and everything. Wow. Wow. I got a little happy Easter, everybody. Griff, things are going great. Happy Easter. All right, a little bodega cat, but it's a, it's a British store cat. <laughs> yeah, West Village is very picturesque. I have to agree. Good to see you, Eden. Welcome. Almost a Gunsport Street, rather. Gonsvolt. And after that, we're going to head on up the High Line. Ooh, I like the sign here. I like that hand-painted signage. Always get a kick out of. Good to see you, John Smith. See you, see you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Stephanie, I do have a voice. Listen, if I'm going to sing on live stream, I'm going to sing in key. Doing great, even. Doing great. This is Gunsvolt Plaza. Yeah, it's Gunsvolt. Yes, rather. Uh, 
I got some lucid and then I figured it out at the theory. It's a fantastic day in Guns Wort Street. Of course, we're now officially in the meatpacking district. Meatpacking. And we're going to head on up towards the duck. We're heading up towards the duck. My guests got a kick out of me calling 30 Hudson Yards the duck today, so they got a little laugh out of that. So it was so fun. It was so fun. I think some of you may be further back in the chat. Make sure you hit the live button and catch up with the chat. I think we have some people who have been left behind. Quack, quack. Not the lovely cobbled stone streets. Guns what? <laughs> I will gladly take a $37 million penthouse. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I would love to live on Bank Street in a $37 million townhouse. I'll start a uh, Chihuahua. There'll be a Chihuahua rescue. Oh, there they go there. As they wave behind me. I knew those two guys on the cell phones were, were going to think the camera's on me. Not the smartest light bulbs in the shed, if you know what I mean. Anyway. Missed this, haven't been here in a while. Awesome. Yes, Gansvort Streets. Making our way over to the High Line here at Washington. I think we're going to have a elevator ride, people. I think we're going to have one. One day, Taylor Swift will join me on a on a elevator ride. Me, the Duchess, and Taylor Swift will we'll yell in an elevator one day. All three of us. It's, it'll be an internet phenomena. She used to work very close to this area. Nice. Ah, little guns vault, yes. Oh, damn it, we got humans win for the elevator. Oh, does he, does he not know how the elevator works? I don't think he knows how the elevator works, people. Look at this. He doesn't know how it works. Look, I'm going to hit the button. He's going to go in. Watch. Let's see. Let's see if these people are following me. Oh, is it closed? Is it closed? Or is somebody holding it open? Here it comes. I threw people off. Yes. I threw people off. Yes, if headphone viewers, please adjust the volume. Please adjust the volume. It's time for a elevator ride. <laughs> yes, are they driving you nuts at work? It's time for the primal scream, everybody. It's time for the primal scream. All right, kids. All right, kitties. Let's do it. And go! to the rest of our lives, up to the dreams of our dreams, the Highline Park, offic officially, originally called the West Side Improvement. Get ready for flying green space, people! Stand aside, stand. The doors are opening. Here we go. It's definitely not an ASMR elevator ride. Nay, 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 nay. Nay, 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 nay. And Kurt Weller with a $10 super chat. Kurt, thank you so much for the very generous $10 super chat. Thank you so much for today's $5 club two times today. Much, much, much appreciated with a big $10 super chat because the elevator is worth it. Time to start a Chihuahua rescue. I appreciate that, Kurt. Kurt, thank you so much for sponsoring today's live stream with a very special, with a very generous $10 super chat. It is much appreciated. And you know what, Verbach, they have lots of videos of me yelling in that elevator and the other elevators here along the High Line. So there's hours of footage that the High Line Park Conservancy has gathered from me. But that's a elevator. It's yellow and we yell. Look at this, the trees. <laughs> there you go, Carrie. 
the trees are beginning to bloom here in the Highline Park. Oh, we're gonna have to come here in a couple of weeks. We're gonna have to come here in a couple of weeks, people, because then the trees will be really going. It's pretty. Wow, we're seeing lots of pretty sights today along our, along our journey. Seeing lots of pretty sights along our journey today. But yes, this structure was built in 19, or completed in 1932. Originally called the West Side Improvement. This was a freight rail line. The original structure went as, as north as 54th Street and the southern portion went as far south as Canal Street. Eventually, the, those ends will be chopped off to their current dimensions, which is as far north as 34th Street and as far south as Gansevoort Street. During the Industrial Revolution, 10th and 11th Avenues had freight rail tracks running right along the street level. And because you had very long freight trains going north and south along 10th and 11th Avenues, they called 10th and 11th Avenues Death Avenue. Because here's a little, here's a little, okay, nice to cough in my direction. Thank you, kids. I shall now get coronavirus again. Um, anyway. Uh, between 1898 and 1908, Nearly 220 people died, mostly children, trying to cross 10th and 11th Avenues. That's when we knew we had to change the situation here. So that's beginning in the 19-teens and construction beginning in the 1920s. This structure is built. The West Side Improvement separates the train tracks. A lot of these tracks go right through some of the old factory buildings here. So nobody, you know, nobody really ever lost any freight or any deliveries or anything like that. And it is in service from 1932 all the way to about uh, 1982. The last shipment along the structure here was uh, 220 frozen turkeys. And that was it. Cynthia, we're gonna get there in a minute. We're still a few blocks from the Dabisco factory. Across the street, Little Island NYC. Lynette Jackson, good to see you, welcome. But that's coming up. At 16th Street was the largest national biscuit company factory on the East Coast. Today we know that company has Nabisco. But of course that is the birthplace of the Oreo cookie. A knockoff of Hydrox. And that National Biscuit Company factory is about to be revealed as the camera adjusts. There it is. So these buildings right here, this, this was in the, best, the Nabisco factory. This is where the first batch of Oreo cookies was created. And today it's home to the Chelsea Market. A couple of different publications published from there. And also it's the home of the cable news channel, New York One. And then here it is. Take a little break here, because we're storytelling. Manhattan Island is about 11 and a half miles tall from north to south, and about two and a half, mi two and a half miles wide at its widest point. And this is its widest point, 14th Street. The longest crosstown street in all of Manhattan. Here is 14th Street. Behold its beauty. The power of the grid right there before you at beautiful 14th street We're looking east towards 14th street and derek ferry with a 10 pound super chat derek thank you so much for the very generous 10 pound super chat thank you so much for joining today's five pound club two times today much 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 appreciated with a big 10 pound super chat bloody hell thank you so much derek that is much appreciated i will get a coffee with that i will get my dunkin donuts with that on my way home so thank you thank you thank you so much to you and everybody that has super chatted today it is much appreciated but there it is 14th Street, everybody, in all of its glory. The 1811 grid laid out by John Randall Jr. Right there, people. Of course, if we go down the street in that direction, you will see, uh, you will encounter uh, 
Wash, uh, just, uh, sorry, Union Square Park. Union Square Park you would encounter off in that direction. And look at the blossoming trees down there, guys. Look at this. Let's see if we can zoom all the way in. Look at that. Ooh, so look at that. Wee, wee. Come on. Look at that. Look at that. Look at them blossoming trees right there, guys. Let's just take that in. Let's just take that in. Let's just take that in right now. Look at these beautiful blossoming trees here. Look at that. Look at, the, look at all the pedestrians crossing right there. And the B14 bus. A lot of action happening there. Isn't that beautiful, darling? Yuri, good to see you, Yuri. Good afternoon, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope everyone's doing well on this be It's turned out to be a beautiful day. On this beautiful Tuesday. Right, it's an amazing view. This is why you guys subscribe. I know this is why you guys subscribe. To see views like this. Look at all those beautiful blo I mean, today's like blo I, I mean, I wanted to focus. I know this sounds ridiculous, guys, but today I wanted to focus on blossoming trees in the street. And we have definitely succeeded in that today. Just wanted to crawl through the screen, right? Yeah, great, great spot for a time lapse. Yeah. And actually, if you time it out just right, you get like a kind of like a Manhattan henge, but with the moon right here. So the chat is amazing today. I blame the pinned comment. Um, anyway, <laughs> ooh, as the bird almost flies into the camera. Did you guys hear the, the, the wings flap? The, the bird flapped his wings right next to my head. Pigeons are flying, the, the, the bees are buzzing. But I literally today, when I was planning out this live stream today, I'm like, you know, I want to go places where there's like trees and stuff. I think we definitely succeeded in that today. I think we definitely succeeded in that today. Right, always a, always a success, that's right. Right, you blame it too, right? Blame it on the pinned comment. <laughs> it's Blossom Mars today, that's right. It's actually, it, it, to, to, to use my language, Robojax, it will be, it will be um, Mars Blossoms. Mars Blossoms. Because in Mars language, that means more. So Mars Blossom on the live stream today. Cinematic view indeed. Less no set Kia Aura, welcome. Bird is the word, that's right. Ah, uh, take it in. The power of the grid, people. It is so cool. Yeah, I think so, John. You can smell the pollen, yeah. I think, to, I think today's the last day the pollen count's gonna be really high. Uh, the next couple of days, since it's gonna get rainy and stuff like that, it's gonna knock it down, so. But look at that, just a pretty shot. Good to see you there, Land Rover. Lovely view indeed. 14th Street, looking east from the High Line Park, New York at work. The city's so nice, they named it twice. The bees are buzzing, and if you have allergies, I'll be outside for you for the next few days. <laughs> I'll be outside for you guys. No, Karen, no, absolutely not, Karen. It's all good, Karen, it's all good. All right. <laughs> all right, there you go. There you go, kids, 14th Street in all of its glory. All right, let's go reset the gimbal here. All right, let's continue north all along the High Line Park. The High Line's uh, landlord, if you will, CSX, they still own the, the, the land and the structure here. But you see, we got the tracks here. If they wanted to, they could turn this back into a freight rail line. I highly doubt they're going to do that, but if they ever wanted to do that, they could do that. Dutch landscape architect Piet Udolf is the chief landscape architect of the High Line Park. So he is the one who put this all together. And this is Nabisco, birthplace of the Oreo cookie. And of course, whenever my antenna is not working, I put on New York One. <laughs> I ended up watching New York One before I left the house today because uh, I was sitting in, in line inside of my antenna and I lost Channel 11. <laughs> so I put on New York One before I left the house. March 26, 2024, 3.40 in the afternoon, and the High Line Park is buzzing. A beehive of activity on the park today as we make our way north to uh, ultimately Hudson Yards. A Hydrox ripoff, exactly. Oreo cookies are a ripoff of Hydrox. 
So right here they would put the materials from, uh, from the various, uh, you know, for the cookies that would come off right here to offload them right inside to the factory. And this is now Chelsea Markets right in there. Good to see you, NYC girl. Welcome. But let's walk the High Line. And a lot of the trees are get, just getting ready to, uh, to blossom here on the High Line. So that means we're going to have to come here in like a week and see all the blossoming uh, foliage here along the way. You like those benches? Yeah, they're pretty cool. And as Murphy's Law dictates, we got to always have a group of people block the whole pathway. Highline Park, for the most part, is only about eight feet wide, so it's fairly narrow. Especially when you have people sauntering here. Coming to the 10th Avenue, kind of like a amphitheater. Of course, this always has a group of people here taking pictures and whatnot. Got a, got a lot of great art galleries out there. Oh, bloody hell, look at this. This is a big tour group here. Ooh, I'm happy I'm not, I'm happy I'm not leading this tour. Name of that p art, p art piece is What If They Bark? As the fish, or the fish, yeah, the fish play rock and roll instruments. What if they barked? What if they bark? Anyway. Of course, always get to mention this. I will have a big party, and I'm inviting all of you guys. The day we could walk the entire length of the Highline Park without scaffolding, we are going to have a big party on this channel. And I'm going to invite everybody to that party. And we're going to have a party when we could walk the length of the High Line without scaffolding. Because there has always been scaffolding on this structure. The first section of the High Line Park opened up, opens up in 2009. The full High Line Park is realized just a few years ago. DSP asks, uh, does this pay well vlogging? Ah, uh, DSP, I'm not going to go into how much money I make on here. I have recently gotten a lot of flack for donations that people have given me, so I'm not going to even remotely entertain that. Anyway, that tour is bigger than my group, yes. That tour group is bigger than my group. That's right, that's right, Jennifer, absolutely. As we come up to Lantern House, designed by Thomas Heatherwick. Same architect as The Vessel, which we'll be seeing in a few minutes. Yeah, Google it, DSP. Google it, ooh. Beautiful lantern house. Right there. I appreciate that, Karen. Karen, some people are very salty to the donations that a lot of you guys are giving me as of late, so. But Google, yeah, Google's your friend. You can find out how much, on average, us YouTubers make per minute per ad. I don't make a lot of money off my AdSense because a lot of my videos get demonetized because I don't mute the, I don't mute the videos when we hear copyright music. So it's mostly donation and member-based. So figure it out. But I do appreciate it. I appreciate it there, Nibble and Strawberry Fields. I appreciate it. I appreciate all you members of the channel and all that. And fundamentally, I don't know if you know this DSP, but I don't really do this for uh, the money. Uh, I do this to keep my tour guide brain kind of, kind of on point. I do this to keep my tour guide brain sharp. So, so activity 79, if, so if you are a YouTube premium member, the longer you watch, the more money I get by you simply watching. So I get watch minutes. And so if you, since, since you're a channel member and a YouTube, a YouTube uh, premium member, 
I get like double like the rate from like average viewers. So it's like two cents, something like that. But it, 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 it adds up. So if you're a YouTube premium member, just put my videos on a playlist and let them play. <laughs> and you'll help me out tremendously. It's true, Strawberry. It's true. Wow, people are looking. Oh, this is fucked up. That's not cool. Oh, or is this like an art piece? Oh, this is like some kind of conceptual art piece. Look at this, guys. Yep. Exposed. Oh, this is the exposed.nyc. Look, she's sleeping. Oh, she's real. She's real, people. She's real. Like, la, la, la. $11 million. Right? Or more than that. I guess this, I guess this is her... Uh, I guess, I guess she live streams it. I guess she's live streaming. Hi, wait, hi. Hi. There she is, everybody. Yeah, I know, she, it, 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 it's crowd here, Lee, look. Excuse me, sorry, sorry. I had a whole audience behind me. Hey, is that Taylor Swift? That bed looks comfy. Me, the Duchess, and about, 12 chihuahuas in that bed. That'll be, that'll be perfect. Anyway. <laughs> Coming up over here, this is where we had the Renegade Cabaret. This was a spontaneous kind of art performance that happened on that fire escape right over there. And then right next door, we had this big storage facility over here. That is where they held the plutonium for the Manhattan Project. There you go, Jay. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Anyway. Oh, do you love their art at Exposed? I'm going to have to check that out. Yeah, a bunch of people being peeping toms, yeah. You'll take 23. You got it. Karen, you got it. I bet you that house has a nice bathtub that me and the Duchess could have a bath bomb in. We could have our chihuahuas run around. <laughs> and Mr. Metalhead Warrior with a $20 super chat. Metalhead Warrior, thank you so much for the very generous $20 super chat. Thank you so much for joining today's $5 Club four times today. Much, much, much appreciated Mr. and Mrs. Metalhead Warrior out there in Hudson Valley with a big $20 super chat. My goodness. Mr. Metalhead being awfully kind. Shout out to the Mr. and Mrs. in the Hudson Valley. Did y'all did y'all get snow? I heard Albany got a good little chunk of snow. Bloody hell. And we're getting into the time everybody. April 8th is eclipse time. So, uh, don't know what the weather's going to hold for the eclipse. Here in New York City, we're going to get 89 point something percent eclipse closure here. So it's going to get dark, but not completely dark on April 8th. I'm going to have to go as far north as Syracuse. So if anyone has a car, <laughs> you want to take a six hour drive up and down to Syracuse on April 8th, let me know. I gladly pay your gas. <laughs> But if we, could get, if we could just get to Syracuse and back in a day, we could see, go see the eclipse. <laughs> if not, I'm going to find a cool spot to watch it here in New York City. If there's some kind of eclipse, I think there's, there's going to be an eclipse party in Prospect Park and in Central Park. I might just hit up one of those. So, but hey, if you got a car and is willing, are willing to drive me to Syracuse, thank you, darling. And um, <laughs> Daniel in Vermont, yeah, it's going right over you guys. I know, not you. I know. I was talking with the Duchess, and I'm like, John Lore can't handle a six-hour car ride back and forth. No way. No way. If I go to... Oh, I know. Dinosaur Barbecue is great there, Strawberry. Most of the train fares are, like, sold out. And also the... Um, also the... Uh, whatchamacallit? We got a $10, pay, a $10 PayPal from Nebul. Nebul. Merci. Thank you so much for the very generous $10 PayPal. Thank you so much, Nibble. Nibble, that is deeply appreciated. Go to Prospect Park, better choice. Yeah. 
I want to go somewhere visual where we're going to see everything get dark and then the, and then it'll get bright again. 23rd Street, everybody. 23rd Street right here. <laughs> awesome, Karen. It's all good, Karen. It's all good. Appreciate it. Nibble joining today's $5 Club two times today over on PayPal. Much appreciated, Nibble. Much appreciated. Everyone check out Nibble's channel out there in the south of France. Showing how the other half lives. I appreciate Yeah, I know. Nibble, yes. Uh, YouTube takes 30%. <laughs> But, I, but you know what, Nibble? I realize that the Super Chats do help in discoverability. So, like, we got a lot of people watching. But, like, whenever we get, like, a bunch of PayPals, especially if the video doesn't get uh, demonetized for copyright, like, it feels like it, it gets out more. So, thank you. Both, both methods are much appreciated. So, both me methods are much appreciated. And actually, I'm perfectly fine with YouTube taking 30% on the dollar because uh, it's a great... I, I think YouTube is the best platform for video, and especially when it comes to live streams. We're just starting. We're just at the beginning. We've only just begun. Another Carpenter's song. Anyway, ooh, the sun is, the sun is freaking out. Holy shit. What the hell? I was not expecting the sun today. I was not expecting... Send some chihuahuas, please. I was not expecting the sun today. As we approach the 26th Street flyover. 26th Street flyover, the only structure built on the original Highland structure. Here, landscape architect Pete Udolf has us walking through a canopy of trees. A lot of these trees grew wild in the 30 years the structure was abandoned. And uh, what he did was he moved around some of those trees, added some extra trees to create this amazing canopy structure. The weatherman and the weather lady lied, yes. Because I knew, you know, here's the sun coming out. I knew it wasn't going to be as doomy and gloomy as it was. And probably tomorrow it's not even going to drizzle. It'll just be, a, tomorrow will be the cloudy day. But that means on Thursday, we'll get the rain. The weather man, he lied. The weather man lied. <laughs> that is a wide carriage to bring on the High Line. That is a very wide carriage to bring onto the High Line. You saw how wide that thing was? But she's like, and you ran. Ooh, he has, that's, that's a British accent right there. He must buy art. He's an art connoisseur. <laughs> anyway. Oh, we're right underneath now Hudson Yards and the duck. 30 Hudson Yards. We call 30 Hudson Yards on this channel the duck because it looks like a duck. I look at all the trees are about to blossom. Mayam Bialik would be proud. <laughs> <laughs> and they got a good good clip of people here on the High Line today. Can it be 10 degrees? Anyway. Yeah, go with my forecast. Go with Coney Island Gym. There's a few of us out there, John. We know how to forecast. I gotta start doing the morning broadcast, the morning forecast, right? Should I start doing that in the morning when I have extra time in the morning? I'll just give you guys a weather report, a 10 minute weather report. All right, you guys would love that. Oh, do we have some kind of weird, I think we have a weird conceptual artist doing some weird conceptual art. Do we? Maybe not. Maybe we do. Who knows? But we are approaching Zaha Hadid's last building or one of the last buildings she ever designs a fantastic architect from the United Kingdom. I will take an apartment on the eighth floor, please. The one just above the High Line. 
I got to do a phony laugh at 646. <laughs> That's how I know it's 646 in the morning. I got to hear that, uh, that, that Sam Champion laugh. And now they got Brittany Bell doing it. And, and what's her name? The other one. 646 in the morning. That's the only way I know it's 646 in the morning. I'm like, oh, it's time to take a poop. Anyway. Highline jumping today. Highline is jumping. And look at this. We got a new stairway. We got a new stairway. Got a new stairway here to go down to the art galleries. Right here. That's when you switch channels. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> this is 20 something street. I don't know. I don't know which one it is. It might be 29th. I think it's 29th. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. Can't get away from tour guide mode. Can you get away? No, I think so. <laughs> you know. Strawberry, I could actually, I'll, how, how about this, Strawberry? I'll ask the Duchess what she recommends to wear. I think I'll start doing that. I think I'll start doing that. I'll just ignore all the comments, by the way. And I'll just do straight up weather, like live weather. Good to see you, Patsy. Welcome. Yeah. Do you like the morning coffee streams? I mean, I was in the middle. See, so John, I, you, you saw this morning stream. You know, the reason why I got so frustrated was because I was in the middle of talking about um, the, the flower show. I went to the flower show yesterday. And um, so I wanted to talk about how the humans can't enjoy the flowers. They have to pick them all. And uh, so, so, uh, so, yeah, I wanted to talk about the flower show. And then people in the chat, well, a person in the chat brought up the tragedy, which it is tragic. And, I'm, and I, by the way, I, I address what happened in Baltimore earlier in the stream. So, but I was in the middle of telling you guys a story and it seemed like, like, like th these people wanted to just talk about what happened. And I, I, you know, this is why we have the pinned comment today. You know, this is not a place necessarily for breaking news. Look at that beautiful mural, yeah. This is not necessarily a place for breaking news. It's a place to kind of escape all that. Yeah, you got the idea? Yeah. CM, good to see you. And we'll bookend it. How about this? If you, if you want to talk about that nonsense, uh, uh, that horrible tragedy, not, not nonsense, but the horrible tragedy that happened in Baltimore today, I'll say one more thing about it at the end of the stream, so we'll bookend it. What's my PayPal name? Pay PayPal.me slash Dutchmaz. The link is actually in, in, the, in the description below, Activity 79. The link, is, the link is below. As we look at the multicultural shed, we're coming up to Hudson Yards. And I succeeded in what I wanted to show today. I'm really happy about that. This place is cool and crowded in the summer. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's right there below. PayPal.me slash Dutchmas. That is my PayPal. It's also peri periodically comes up in the chat also. At least I think it does. Well, we have officially, officially done the High Line. And then we had one person saying, subscribe to me, subscribe to me, subscribe to me. And I'm like, no. Anyway, good to see you, Marty. That's the way we saw the Diane von Festenberg pop up. And the Duchess got a beautiful dress for the cherry blossoms. But I think I'll start doing the weather report. How about that? Exactly, Jim. You came here to escape the news. Good to see you, Paul. Welcome. Absolutely, Oleg. Absolutely. You're more than welcome. I know, for the most part, a lot of you guys come here to 
escape the news. And what I, just what annoyed me was that I was in the middle of telling the story. Like I was already in the middle of telling it. And, you know, I get that comment and I'm like, in my mind, you know what I said to myself? Are you even listening to what I'm saying? <laughs> Are you even paying attention? Oh, thank you so much, Kurt. It's a lot of fun. Oh, this is like a concierge over here. We want to, we want to cross the street. We want to cross the street here. As we here at the shops of Hudson Yards. Let's see, where is the cross here? Okay, I see a cross right there. They've actually, they've adjusted the, uh, they adjusted the, the, the ropes here. Ah, Thomas Heatherwick's vessel, Hudson Yards, on this weird weather day. Doesn't know whether it wants to be warm, doesn't know whether it wants to be cold. Such an odd weather day today. Good to see you, Dave, out there in Dartmouth. Hope you're doing well. I hope everyone is doing well on this Tuesday. And eventually, there'll be all buildings here. Or maybe MSG. I hope they build MSG here. The new MSG. They should build the new MSG out here. And go with that new empire plan, whatever the hell it's called. The vessel is so weird. It's so amazing. We got to climb it a few times on the live stream. So if you ever miss, if you, if you missed climbing this, we have done this a few times on the live stream. Ah. <sighs> Let's do some people watching here while we bring this live stream in for a landing. Oh my goodness. We'll bookend today's live stream with what I mentioned earlier. With what I mentioned earlier. So we'll do that. Uh, you're more than welcome, Fawn Marie. I want to dedicate this live stream, and I mentioned these guys earlier. I want to dedicate this live stream to the road workers uh, who were working on that bridge in Baltimore. There were some people doing some road maintenance and there were some people who were working uh, on the road who uh, saw what was happening and they stopped northbound traffic, uh, saving innumerable lives early this morning. So a big shout out to those Department of Transportation workers who stopped traffic and saved many, many lives this morning. And uh, hopefully um, six of their co-workers, uh, from, from what I heard this morning, were missing, so I hope they find them. And uh, let's just hope the, uh, the death toll is not too high over there in Baltimore. So obviously our thoughts are with Baltimore, and, and there you go. So I have addressed it. But um, Thank you guys so much for watching. I want to thank everyone who left super chats and donations over on PayPal. It is much, 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 much appreciated. To everyone who hit the thumbs up, we hit 285 likes. If we could hit 300, that will be fantastic. And uh, prayers for the families, indeed. And we got to sign it off right, Robojax. You know how we do it on this channel. If it's your first time watching this nonsense and finding this nonsense, Make sure to subscribe to the Dutch Maz Family Networks here on YouTube and on Instagram, all same name at Dutch Maz. And make sure you hit the notification bell because I never know when I'm going to go live next. But from Hudson Yards here in Midtown Manhattan, this is Dutch Maz signing off. Have a fabulous Hudson Yards day, whether you can afford to live here or not. Hug your loved ones, cherish those sweet moments, and good night, Mrs. Calabash, wherever you are. I will see you guys tomorrow on the next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.